guidance. Is guidance, not right? advice. Yeah, okay. I don't want to get exactly because everyone's situation is different without seeing the numbers. I can't make it. I can't give them professional advice, but mm-hmm. you know, that's my value prop. It's just on day one, it's, I meet someone and, you know, I give them my background, obviously. And when mm-hmm. I say those letters, CPA, CA, whatever, it's like the trust is there on day one. So that's Look at just, that. That's so, but that, there was a guy. So there was what a, guy. a tough route though, like to get that <laughs> right. Compared to all these right. other realtors, it's like you have to sure. actually go to school and do a bunch of work <laughs> and CPA is no easy feat. Like no, that's, it was, right? it was, that's it was serious. Tough, yeah. Yeah. There was um there was a guy. So I was at a I was at a really small brokerage, right? And so I was always at the top of the brokerage because it wasn't it wasn't a big office. And then one right. year, I think it was like 2013, maybe 14, this guy came in and he called himself Dr. Sold. And so because he had the doctor that year, he beat me. And I was like, what the heck? He ended up going to another brokerage afterwards. But I was always like, man, if I only had some more letters in my name, I could be as successful as him. So you should grow a mohawk and put Mr. Letters. in front of your name and you can be Mr. like Mr. T K. Mr. T K. <laughs> Mr. T K. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> def- We're going to sell your house. It definitely Ooh. stands out. If you've got some other designation, I think the common theme or sure. misconception or maybe, you know, maybe it's total reality is that people who end up in real estate, it was because they weren't able to be successful in anything else. But if you had to go down that yeah. road and get your certification and then you came into real estate, it's 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 trustworthy and, and leverage that and and, and make sure an that edge. people understand. And I think that there's totally. pre-crime for I, sure. There's there's major tax uh, obstacles yes. and people need to know them. Yes, and yes. agents don't know them. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. Lots of good pivots though. Like I've met engineers, turn realtors, uh, bankers, turn realtors, lawyers, turn realtors. Mm-hmm. I think we, I think on Twitter there was a thread on a doctor turn realtor. That's, that, was, uh, that one got a lot of this doctor sold obviously. guy by the way not to throw him under the bus yeah, but he yeah, had a phd in like Maybe some that's random that's stuff <laughs> yeah it was no md <laughs> but whatever he can right. call himself culinary a degree a, a doctor i'll get him i'll get him back one day daryl you yeah. better you better <laughs> tk you probably already have now i think now so, i think less of you no worries so oh, uh, oh, harsh Jesus. So we, we, have, we have a lot of sold. things going on right now, Caitlin. So interest rates. So yeah. we've got uh, the last interest rate was a pause, right? Yeah. So Is that even a, a thing still? Of, we've had a little bit of um, resurgence in the market right now. There's no areas now yeah. that are not being affected, but there's more buyers out there. There's not that many listings. 50 offers I saw in a place this week. Like things are out there right yeah. now that are, that are happening. What do you think is going to happen with interest rates for like the next few announcements? Hmm. Tough, I know. I I read a the Deloitte Deloitte just put out a report last week um, that by Q three they're expecting rates to be cut, and I was like, that's pretty aggressive. Like that would be a bullish, bullish, you know, aggressive. Oh, that would be so good. It's Deloitte though is right. holding a lot of weight with the that. Fuck does Deloitte letter. know about interest rates and which way <laughs> exactly. they're going? Who the hell exactly. cares? <laughs> so funny. We so, all read all though, these Kevin, articles. Do you think that there's Okay, look, like, first of all, none of us are economists. And even if economists, economy, everything, like, we can't predict what's going to happen. But I was going into this year thinking it, it would be pretty bearish, even throughout the spring. Um, obviously, been proven wrong. Like, it's, yeah, like, I have a oh, couple clients God, shopping yeah. now in spring. And it's, 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 it's been, you know, obviously, my expectation has been totally surpassed. Um, I think my, I would say, status quo baseline base case would probably be flat after spring um maybe a little bit of a blip and fall and then maybe flat or slightly down in terms of markets you're talking about the market or rates yeah she's talking i'm just talking about real estate price yeah prices Prices yeah right i think rates yeah i don't know like with the fed Rates increase, don't seem like, to fucking matter, do they? It's like they're raising rates like yeah, drunken no, sailors right. and raised, prices are yeah. up and everybody's like, oh, I'll take three again. Give me three. Yeah. I'll take all of them. Yeah. Do rates even matter? Exactly. Um, we, I mean, we see all the articles of people hurting, but then we're not seeing that. I, I would say personally on, on the inventory level, you don't see that distress 